Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your T-Rex Pro with Zap app in Android. So Zap app is the app that we'll use today. Like we said in the beginning of the video, we have to turn on the Bluetooth and now we have the page open up as you can see these are the devices that we connected before with this app we go to watches watch with QR code because the MSFET T-Rex Pro has a QR code when you power it on and now we have to scan it as you can see very fast scanning and you can see that in the first time at me failed and when I tried it in the second time it connected you, you have to accept the request in your watch and when you accept it, you can see it says pair. So now that they are paired successfully, we have to activate the new device and it will deactivate the old device. You can see that was the GTS2 Mini that we unboxed a while before. Now it's activating the MSFET T-Rex Pro. After this is all done, it will take you around one or two minute maybe in the first time. You have to go ahead and see for yourself all the options and customize all the things that you want. We will see that later how to do and what we got to customize. Now we have uh, the T-Rex Pro activated, press OK. It's rest it will restore the watch settings. And after that, we got an update. We didn't expect this, but we haven't used this app for a while. After it's updated, the system will transfer to the watch. You can see what we have new, improved system stability and fix the uh, several bugs, which is good from the Zap app, thanks to them. Probably the Zap app will work better than it was. After it's all done, the MSFET T-Rex Pro will reboot itself so it can get the updates and it will connect automatically itself, which is very good, so we don't have to do all of that again. After the boot, you can see how it looks like. We have the new system at the notifications and all the things, and we have the T-Rex Pro ready to be used, powered on and connected with the watch. Here at the first page of the Zap app, you can see we have the statistic for steps, day, week, month or year statistic. We have total uh, steps told the timing and too much information we have calories as well day week and month we have slow walk fast walk all kinds of that with timing and kilometers we have sleep data with hours minutes deep sleep light sleep over average time and different types of data same with heart rate you can see we have day week month heart rate highest lowest average all kinds of stuff you can see the sleep score at the first page we have here outdoor running with map and all the details, kilometers, workout time, average pace, burn calories, average heart rate, average sentence and average stride. And all of these options will be with statistics so you can check out what you did and for how long. Also, we got different types of sports that we did. All will be saved in the app and this is pretty good from the Zap app and MSFit devices. After the outdoor running and outdoor activities, we have PAI and we have the tools down below, which are very good. At the second page, we have here event reminder, find device, watch face, relevant friends, target settings, incoming calls, app alerts, and unlock device. At the third page, we will find the page for the T-Rex Pro where we can find different types of things that we can customize, starting from the brightness, uh, we can set it auto. We have auto screen off, always on display and the timing of the screen. And also we can change the language right here. As you can see, system language, choose whatever language you want. After that, we have diff different types of uh, pages that we can customize. We will see that later. But the interesting part here is the store where we can find faces for the T-Rex Pro. Let's go ahead and search here for a new uh, face for the T-Rex Pro and choose whatever you want. Also, you can customize very much it 
And for me personally, I prefer the always on display with my uh, face watch. You can see how it looks right now with the old one. So let's choose the new one and see how it will look. The process of the new watch face, as you can see, takes uh, not too much time, under a minute, and you can choose whatever you want and you can change whenever you want the watch faces. So this is it, you can see how it looks, the new watch face, which is awesome. The AMOLED shows the colors very good and very bright as well. So this is the process of the watch face. You can see how it looks with always on display. Remember that the always on display will take more battery than you are used to. After store, we have notifications and reminder where we can find incoming calls and notifications from app. We have heart rate alerts, sleep alerts, and stress uh, exercises. We saw the display and brightness options before and all these are customizable, this, uh, the system language that we saw. We have app list where we can find and manage all the apps. We have app settings, find watch, discoverable, activity hardware sharing, real-time data, binding limits, running background, system updates, my goal and uh, the settings. Here in more we will find the personal records that we saw before. We have my records, my goals, friends, add account, use feedback, smart analyze, and settings. Again, we will find the units, notifications, shade, behavior tagging, check for update, and sign out if in case you want to delete the uh, this account that you have. Here you will see the notifications, how it works. So guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video with another smart device.